Ronald Awat gets the first carry against a really good defense. And he's hit by Caleb Biggers. Three-man rush. Hardison, short throw, caught. A tumbling catch by Jeremiah Ballard. He's short of the first down. It's fourth down. Bachmeyer with Holani. First throw on the money. Caught there. Ty Neal Hopper. He's one of the last tight ends standing. Makes the catch. And that's an 11-yard pickup and a first down. Moving up front. No flags. Holani cuts back. Slides through and is inside the 15 and down to the 13-yard line. Olani straight ahead has the hole and has the first down. And he knocks that one through. Great field position. Both teams with long drives that have eaten up clock for five touchdowns and a pick. He's three of six for 20 yards here tonight so far. Polani gets outside, has the first down, and that's a nice chunk play of about 15 yards. Larez Shelton made the stop. Against UT Martin, and this is something that they talked about coming into this week. We have got to figure out a way to get more chunk plays in the run game. That's exactly what we talked about at the open. Get George Holani the ball in space, whether it be through the run game. Bachmeyer on play action. On his feet is Cobbs, breaking one tackle. And nicely strung out, Kobe Hilton. We talked about Boise State's going to bring a lot of play action and those bootlegs coming off of it. You have to be disciplined in the back end as you see Tyreek James come flying down. Dan Hawkins, of course, defensive coordinator for Hawkins, Chris Peterson, and Brian Harson, now the head coach. And this is Holani who bounces again for a gain of 13. And these chunk plays, these explosive plays, it's so key because you get frustrated as an offense when you get stuffed in the interior. This is the second one to the left side. Nice patient running. I thought maybe there could have been a horse collar. Hardison. Got a man. Caught there. Ballard. Touchdown. No flags down. 43 yards. Waiting on the shot play, waiting on the explosive play. They scheme it up nicely. You see right there, DJ Schramm from the linebacker position gets sucked up. Put Jeremiah Ballard, Play touchdown to Jeremiah Ballard. Second down and one. Hardison hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. No flag, although the officials are going to huddle. Dimitri Washington's all over you. You should take a look at Gavin Hardison trying to get away. Tim Plow, second year's offensive coordinator. A little more tempo here on third and ten. Bachmeyer over the middle. Got his man. Capels the catch. And Boise State has their biggest play offensive. Being up out of this wide receiver room. Latrell Capels just running the seam. And right back to the line of scrimmage they go. Play action there. Another catch. Cobbs with it. Cobbs dances in. Touchdown. Boise State. 15 yards. Suddenly, Bachmeyer is clicking. Just a simple slant to Stefan Cobbs. And this is Flores. And Flores has got some speed and a nice game inside the 30. DJ Schramm holds him down. And a first and 10. I'm telling you right now, this unit up front for the Miners is winning at the point of. Keep it on the ground. And it's Hankins inside the 15. That's another first down. And that's a backbreaker as a defense. A stop here. We're going to force them into a long field goal. That is brutal. Devin Wright at the defensive end. I thought he got a little too far upfield. Allowed there to be a rush lane to the left side. And then another good run by Deion Hankins. This from 25. And he knocks it straight through. Long drive. They settle for three, and UTEP is back on top. And not as deliberate with the huddle and all of that. And they do a little bit of this now. Latrell Capel's trying to get loose, and the defense had it sniffed out. Kobe Hilton there. James Ferguson Reynolds has some room. Low line drive. Bellin has the catch, and a great 
opportunity to return it, and he does to the 30, to the 20. Bellin up the sideline. Bellin dives. He's in. Touchdown, UTEP. Look to make sure he stayed in bounds. He got the pylon with the football. Let's watch the feet. We'll get a better look at it right here, right at about the three or four yard line, right? No, he's in. That's a clear touchdown. This is all set up by your punter. 19 yard line. Hardison play action. Lots of time. And the throw is caught. Tyron Smith, just his second catch of the game. That's a first down. Boise's done everything they possibly can to take away Tyron Smith. And look at this throw. This has heat on it, high where only your receiver can get it, and you're trusting him to make that play because if that gets tipped, that's how balls get intercepted behind him. Makes a big play in traffic, knows he's going to get it. Hankins. Hankins still on his feet into Boise territory to the 46-yard line. That's another first down. 33, Deion Hankins running between the tackles. Hat on a hat up front. You don't see any white shirts getting penetration into the backfield in the UTEP backfield. As long as this is continuing, UTEP's going to continue to feed Deion Hankins slow, methodical drive down the field. And you know, right, if they don't pick this up, do they go for it on fourth down? I'm going to get it out of the way now. And it didn't matter. No, it's Hardison who keeps it. Skinner makes the stop. That's another first down on the ground for Utah. Just reading the defensive end. This is very simple. Defensive end crashes down. Quarterback pulls the ball. Every middle school in the country runs some form of this. Look on the outside. You got a wide nine crashing down. That's a simple, easy pull for Gavin Hardison. You're not real sure what he's supposed to do. Go in motion. He's still not sure. Flores. Still turning and he's in. Touchdown, UTEP. Almost 10 minutes time of possession. Can't say any more about this UTEP offensive line. The fourth and 15. Blitz comes. Bachmeyer incomplete. Capel's the intended receiver. And UTEP gets the football. Hankins, two hands on the ball. First ever win against Boise State. UTEP said, hey, we're better than one and three. And they are, they're two and three now. They've certainly proved it. And Boise State's got some issues to iron out, and they better hurry up. With San Diego State and Fresno State coming to Boise on the next two weekends.